Welcome to Turnio. Today, I will be explaining the process of capturing a realistic, high-quality 3D scan straight from your phone. Here and on the Turnio website, linked in the description, you can find the best tips and tricks for creating professional-grade scans anywhere, anytime. Turnio has three methods of image capture and scanning that can be used to create your 3D scan. Object mode, AR kit, and photo import. Today, I will be focusing on those last two methods, which are the most likely to produce the high quality scan you are looking for. AR Kit is developed by Apple and is compatible with the iPhone 6S and newer. This technology pinpoints features on the object you are 3D scanning as you move around and record the object. It records these individual points and assembles them into your 3D scan. Image Capture takes a slightly different approach by compiling photos that you take with your phone and assembling them into your 3D scan. Both of these methods have similar strategies in choosing what you want to scan and where you want to scan it in order to create the best 3D image possible. Make sure to fill the entire frame with the object you are trying to scan. If you would like to scan a person's face, make sure they will be able to stand completely still for at least 30 seconds to a minute. If you are scanning someone with smooth skin or dark hair, try and add something of color or texture, such as colorful makeup or a hat. For any scan, using the back camera on your phone is much better than using the front camera, so if you would like a scan of your own face, ask a friend for help. You are also going to want to plan a path around whatever object you are scanning before you actually start the scan. Generally, you want to start from a wider angle and come in closer as you circle the object two or three times. For the image import mode, try and take a photo every 5 degrees or so as you are circling. You want to move slowly and try to avoid any narrow passages like doorways. Another great tip is that you always want to try and capture every surface from at least two angles or perspectives. Another key variable for getting the perfect scan is lighting. Always try to scan in natural light over artificial light if possible. You want to make sure that there are as little shadows as possible, and you definitely want to try and avoid any reflective surfaces. For this reason, I find that it is best to do your scan outside on a cloudy day. If it's a sunny day, maybe try to scan the object outside in that 20 to 30 minutes right after the sun sets before it gets completely dark. As you can see, this scan has lots of harsh shadows and doesn't turn out too well. You also want to avoid very small or skinny objects, like a pencil or a plant with long branches. Also, objects that are too large to walk around or get a bird's eye view of, like a building. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the Turnio website and other tutorials coming soon.